we've never been an organization that believes in doing it alone. It's always been a part of a, a bigger and better spirit for what we can bring to the community as a whole. The environmental priorities process speaks for itself. It's been, I think, a huge success. It became a, um, a model for the rest of the nation. The priorities process came out of, I think, a, a recognition of a need to kind of reset, um, throw away some of our dis differences, and look for our common strengths. Uh, to me, it, it seems as though we have an incredible brain trust in the Northwest. Uh, we have amazing scientists. We have a very active and engaged uh, nonprofit world. We have very strong tribal leadership uh, out of the Northwest. If you are powerful um, and you want to do good in this world, it's best to include more people in the conversation and bring more people forward and make sure that everyone truly does have a seat at the table. We have to figure out how to develop solutions that people can see themselves in and become part of. It's so important to collaborate on climate change policy because there are so many pieces and parts of what needs to be in place in order for it to be successful. Uh, because not only do we you know, get to do good things like clean up toxic waste dumps and uh, deal with stormwater runoff, but we create great jobs in the process, right? So it's, it's a win-win all the way around. It's really exciting to have Washington Environmental Council there to help convene these groups and convene these conversations.